In this series of tutorials, we'll be looking at how to write and interpret the contradictories of the basic compound forms, conjunctions, disjunctions, and conditionals. But before we do that, we should first talk about the contradictory of a contradictory. Contradictories are sometimes called negations, so this rule is commonly called double negation. The rule is straightforward. If you take a claim and negate it, and then negate the negation, you recover the original claim. Here's a simple example. Sarah makes good coffee. The contradictory of this is, it is not the case that Sarah makes good coffee. Or, more naturally, Sarah does not make good coffee. If we now take the contradictory of this, though, we get an awkward expression. If you were being very formal, you'd say, it is not the case that it is not the case that Sarah makes good coffee. Or, it is false that it is false that Sarah makes good coffee. These are pretty unnatural. It is not the case that Sarah does not make good coffee is also pretty unnatural. You don't have to say this. With double negation, you recover the original claim. So you can just say, Sarah makes good coffee. Double negation is mostly used as a simplification rule in formal logic, but we use it intuitively in ordinary speech all the time. There's one word of caution though. To use double negation correctly, you need to know how to construct and recognize the contradictories of different kinds of claims. For example, let's say someone wants to say, it's false that Sarah and Tom didn't go bike riding. If I want to simplify this using double negation, I need to know how to interpret the contradictory of Sarah and Tom didn't go bike riding. But does this mean that both Sarah and Tom went bike riding? Or does it mean either Sarah or Tom went bike riding? To be sure about this, you need to know how to interpret the contradictory of a conjunction where each of the conjuncts is already negated. Sarah didn't go bike riding and Tom didn't go bike riding. And the correct answer is the second one. Either Sarah or Tom went bike riding. But you'll need to check out the tutorial on negating conjunctions to see why. 